Hey everybody, Drew the Helium Noob. Just want to thank you guys for checking out the channel today. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and alert button. That way you get all my content as I release it, and then also help me out with the algorithm. I greatly appreciate that. Now, in the last episode of Helium Noob, how to IoT, um, I went over the developer kit uh, by Rack Wireless, which is basically all the hardware that we're going to be using to go ahead and build out these IoT devices and get them onto the Helium network. Um, so today in episode two, uh, we're going to start to look at how to set up the Helium Council. Now, Helium Council, guys, is a web-based device tool that allows developers to register, authenticate, and manage their devices on the network. Um, in addition to the management, you can also uh, set up some pre-built connections. Um, they call them integrations. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to integrate the devices um, via HTTPs, MQTT, or directly to cloud services like AWS. So what I want to do today is jump right in on how to set up your Helium Council account. Then we'll go through kind of a thousand yard view of, of what the council is. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to council.helium.com. Just type that in any web browser, and then once that loads up, that'll be at the login page. Now, once we get to the login page, you're going to have two options. The first option is going to be to log in, and the second option is going to be sign up. So today we're going to select sign up. Now, you can sign up using your Gmail account, or you can put an email and password in. Either way you choose, you're going to have to hit the agree to terms of service. So go ahead and check that mark. And then in this example, I'm going to sign up with my Google accounts. So we click on sign up with Google. Um, I'm choosing the account that we're going to we're going to use, which is my Helium Noob Gmail. Um, and then it's going to kind of lo load into the console. Now what you'll notice first is it pops up says console 2.0 launch. Like I mentioned before, this is the uh, 2.0 version of the uh, council um, so that's just kind of a welcoming message now the first time that you log in when you're setting your account up you're gonna have to add your first organization um, so in this instance we'll call it helium noob uh, IOT and then you click on add organization once you do that it's gonna kinda load up the organization for you and it's gonna land you on your welcome screen so this is your welcome screen. If you look in the middle, um, this will pop up every time that you log in, um, unless you click the little check mark here to not show it every time you log in. For now, you might want to leave it on because there's actually some good uh, resource links right there for get started with Council and develop, uh, and develop resources. On the left hand side is going to be your navigation. You know, basically it shows you you know flows uh, the different nodes. Um, you know, as far as devices, functions, and in integrations, um, your configurations, and then your admin functions. Um, in addition to that, you can actually um, you know minimize and maximize the navigation window. Um, all you got to do is go up to the top and click on that little button right there, and that's going to either um, you know minimize it or maximize it. Um, from there we jump over they have a home button at the top so if you're ever in a screen you want to get back to the beginning you just click on that home button they also added a search council function so you can actually just search any term and then here's your DC balance now any any new account that signed up for helium council is going to get a free 10,000 um, data credits now one data credit equals 24 bytes um, so you have 10,000 credits or 240,000 bytes of data and this is to to basically help you start developing these these items now if you've ever needed to uh, you know if you ever need to buy more all you really need to do is click on the purchase data credits uh, button and then that's going to pull up ways to purchase it so again one DC equals 24 byte uh, packet is 0 0.00001 USD and you have to purchase a minimum of $10 um, so that's a million data credits that you'll have to buy. Um, now your options are to use a credit card or you can burn HNT, whichever way you choose. I'm going to hit cancel for now because we don't need to buy it, but I just wanted to show you how you would buy more uh, data credits if you needed to. Um, all the way up to the top right is like your account button. That's where you log out or go to your account information. Um, so now we're going to hit the home button and head back. Um, again, it takes us back to the welcome screen. 
Um, I want to jump in and show you guys real quick. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of time in the Devices tab. So if you go over to your navigation window and you click on Devices, um, this is where we're going to spend the majority of our time um, in the next few episodes. But this will show you a list of all the devices that you have registered. Um, if you need to add a new device, you can click the, the little plus button there. And then the folder with the plus button is for adding a new label to that device or several devices all at the same time. Um, down in the right hand corner they do have a plus button which is kind of cool um, allows you to you know it's like an add button for adding multiple things and then they also do have a chat function um, now it's kind of slow uh, right now I think they're running about a day um, but it's kind of cool to have it there hopefully that gets a little bit better uh, in the near future um, so hit the home button again and we'll go back to our welcome screen so that's the thousand yard view of the helium council how to sign up for an account how to log in, and how to navigate it. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today on Helium Noob, how to IoT. And uh, keep an eye out for episode three coming out very shortly. That episode will be how to set up your environment. We'll see you guys on the next one.